Hello, and welcome to CADLINK for M1. CADLINK is a tried and true, trusted, partner recommended CAD to ERP integration tool for M1. It is a bi directional tool used to create, compare, and modify bill of materials and part data at the click of a button. By using CADLINK, you can eliminate clerical work and increase your skilled engineer's productivity. By synchronizing your bills of material and part data with your CAD data, you will reduce errors and inaccuracies and prevent unnecessary losses from scrap parts, shop floor confusions, and inventory errors. Here we have a multi-level inventor model open. Let's imagine that you're an engineer and you've just finished designing this. You're now ready to commit the BOM and changes into M1. Because CADLINK is directly integrated in Inventor, you can launch it directly from the toolbar. Now, CADLINK is searching within M1 and comparing each of the components and their Inventor properties, such as the part number, description, revision, and quantity in the model we just created, with the part and BOM records in M1. The results of this comparison are shown in this grid. As you can see, CADLINK has maintained the multi-level assembly structure from Inventor, and the colors highlighting displays the differences between the model and M1's part master. Let's talk about these different colors. Using the part number as the unique identifier, the colors will display if the part exists or not within M1 ERP. White rows represent parts from your model that already exist in your M1 part master. Lines in green represent parts that exist in your model but not in your part master. Therefore, these are new components that do not exist in M1. Upon save, CADLINK will create this part in your part master with the I properties such as part number, revision, description, quantity, and add this to the M1 method bomb for you. Required fields to create a part in M1 are also displayed on the right hand side of this grid. Yellow represents field level discrepancies between your CAD and ERP data. By right clicking on this yellow field, we can see what the CAD description is, what the M1 description is, and select whichever is correct or we can also manually enter our own. When CADLINK saves, it will push this field bi-directionally to update both the CAD model and the M1 part record. Rose and gray represent parts found on the M1 bomb and are to be removed from the bill of materials because they no longer exist in the CAD model. CADLINK will remove this part from the bill of materials to synchronize it with your model. Parts may need to be removed from the BOM if they are discontinued or if you've switched suppliers, for example. Sometimes you have parts that are needed in your M1 BOM but aren't necessarily modeled. Items like this may be added to the bill of materials by right-clicking on the square and selecting Add Manual Part. Manual parts are parts that need to be in the bill of materials but not typically modeled in CAD. Examples include items such as paint, glue, tape, etc. CADLINK can search directly into your M1 database using the part number or description and add these parts to the bill of materials. For example, if I want to add a bolt, I can do a search into my M1 database to find the appropriate bolt and easily add it to the bill of materials. Similarly, CADLINK can also support raw material information. If a component has a raw material, you can use the same search functionality looking directly into M1 and easily add that raw material information or map the data from the CAD property. Operations can also be assigned to manufactured parts throughout the CADLINK interface. Go to the Operations tab and select the manufactured part. If the part already exists in M1, CADLINK will pull the existing bill of operations. You can add work centers using these drop-down menus that are taken directly from M1. After doing so, we can go back to the bill of materials grid and assign at which work center each part is consumed. The BOM Changes tab provides a summary of all the changes being made once CADLINK saves. This tab can also be exported as an Excel file or PDF for your convenience. Keep in mind none of these changes have occurred yet. CADLINK has not saved, in fact our save button is actually grayed out. The CAD Properties tab is a read-only tab which allows you to view the properties of your CAD model per part. 
This makes it easier for the engineer to view the CAD data without switching back and forth between CAD link and Inventor. Finally, the Messages tab will list all of the messages that need to be addressed before CADLINK can save. CADLINK follows strict rules and does the validation check based on requirements set by M1. For example, some of these may be exceeding a character limit or missing operation details. By double-clicking one of these messages, it will highlight the row and allow the user to resolve the error. As you address each of the errors in the Messages tab, the errors will disappear and once there are no longer any messages, the Save button will be re-enabled. You have the option to partially save the bomb via this checkbox. You can choose specifically which parts to push into M1, and CADLINK will only save the selected items. This allows you to push long lead time items into M1 first. CADLINK is a powerful tool to equip your engineers with. Why task engineers with mundane tasks like manual data entry when they can be focusing on actual engineering or design-related work? For more information or to schedule a custom demo, feel free to contact us at info at qbuildsoftware.com. Thanks for watching!